Welcome back to Healthy with Nicole. In today's video, I want to talk about how to combine carbs and fat. Many of you have seen the videos about coming off from the carnivore diet and starting to add carbohydrates back in. And we know the importance of getting that saturated fat in the diet, so is it a good idea to combine sugar or carbohydrates with fat? So we do have a system in our body that likes to choose whether it oxidizes fat for energy or for um, using glucose for energy. And this is called the Randall cycle. So basically what this means is it's going to choose either a fat or a sugar for energy. And which is fine. Um, some people will say that glucose is definitely the cleaner burning energy and that there are some problems with lipolysis or fat burning um, that can be damaging to the body. Either way you go about it, one thing that is important to know is that when we combine them, we are going to um, run up against the Randall cycle, which says that if we, for example, start to burn sugar, then we are going to store the fat if we eat them together. So one thing that I've been doing to, um, to minimize any kind of fat gain while adding carbohydrates to my diet is I keep the fat and the proteins um, and the glucose separate. So by that, what I mean is when I have my fruit or sugar source, I will include protein to keep the blood sugar from spiking too much. Um, and I'll even include a small amount of fat, but I probably won't eat a high fat meal like a ribeye and then a whole bunch of fruit. And the reason is because I don't want to end up storing fat, which is what the Randall cycle does. And then alternatively, when I do want to eat a lot of fat, because fat is still very important, we still need saturated fat for all of our hormonal functions. And so um, when I do eat the higher amounts of fat, I'm going to keep the fat and protein together. And then I'm going to add something that's, you know, less carbohydrate rich, like mushrooms, cooked mushrooms that are much lower in carbohydrate or maybe peeled cucumbers that also are very low in carbohydrate. Those are primarily the only vegetables that I'm adding um, in addition to carrots and the rest is all fruit because of digestibility um, and other things that I've talked about with fruit and thyroid health um, in other videos. So the point here is to remember that the Randall cycle is going to kind of choose one form of energy or the other. It's not going to do both. And so if you don't care and you don't mind gaining a little bit of body fat, which some of us want to do for more hormonal health, um, then no problem. You can combine them and it's not a problem. But if you are more concerned about losing weight and losing body fat, you might want to try separating them going high fat in protein with low fat in carbohydrate in separate meals. So hopefully that makes sense to you. And if you like that video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your support and I'll see you in the next video.